Hey guys, welcome back to this glorious thing that I like to call Red Dead Redemption. And today we're doing this McDoodle mission here. No? Well. <laughs> there we go. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Yeah. I remember this mission. Oh, it's you, dear boy. Come in, come in, and shut the door. What's going on? You leaving? Yes, sir. Yes, I am, sir. You know, you know the thing? The thing that is vital, without which scholarship cannot proceed, sir? No, I don't. I'm not having a bullet in your flipping neck, sir. I'm not cut out for this. No, I'm not cut out for this at all. <laughs> nope. They're fucking savages! Savages! <laughs> I think we all are. Not me, sir. I'm from Connecticut. I'm a professor at Yale. I write books. I do not deserve to die out here. Where's my tincture? Oh, yes. You okay, Professor? Oh, dandy, sir. Just dandy. Oh, great above! <laughs> Is that you, John? Hello, Dutch. <laughs> I think that's what they call two for the price of one out here in this wonderful place. Maybe so, Dutch. You and, and, and your friend there, the professor. We're going to kill the both of you. <laughs> Why you want to do a thing like that? I don't know. Sport, I guess. Fair enough. Why don't I come out there? We fight. Let the professor go and send your boys back to their families. Well, that that sounds like a beautiful plan, John. Only problem is, my boys here, they already lost their families a long time ago. We aren't thieves, John. <laughs> we're fighting for something a, a bit like you. Only we're fighting for an idea. Not just for ourselves. That's beautiful, Dutch. You always were a fine speaker. I was. Now, would you kindly send that academic out here so we can show him what we really think about the art of anthropology? Please, sir, what are we going to do? I'm going to hand you over to him and watch him tear you limb from limb. What? I'm just kidding. We're going to run across the rooftops. Get you back to your ivory tower. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We're still here. Come on. Good day, sir. Uh, madam. Look here, sir. What is the meaning of this this outrage? You two stay down and shut up. <laughs> Come on, we can get to the roof this way. He didn't have to, you know, look in and say that to me. Oh, for fuck's sake. Are you still in there? Yeah. <laughs> Stay back. Where's the oh shit. The teacher? Jesus Christ. What do we do now? They've got us pinned down on both sides. I'm gonna trade your We shoot them. <laughs> that ain't nice. That ain't nice. So. What is nice, John? What is nice? You're dead? Yeah, there. Correct. Stop pointing for Christ. Put your gun down, Fred. Dun, 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 
dun, dun, dun. I think that's most of there we go. The coast looks clear. Come on then, let's make a break for it. Hurry, master! Oh, the horses should be in an alleyway down here. Looks awkward when he jumps. Rockstar never really got that part to the right way. <laughs> Jumping Come in video on, games. I think. I think Bully is the uh, Bully has the funniest jumping animation out of all the Rockstar games. At least you got some good material for your next book. You know, I dreamt of documenting the last days of the Old West. The romance, the honor, the nobility. But it turns out it's just people killing each other. It always <laughs> was, Professor. And the Old West ain't quite dead yet. Oh, I know, Mr. Marston. Believe me, I know. Dun, 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 dun. Leave me alone! What, me? <laughs> I don't think you want it. Oh my god! There's Comes to Calvary. Dead. Oh, there's my home. Spoilers. Civilizing this savage land. I could have told you that for nothing. Ah, but they'll give me a prize in New Haven for this. <laughs> well, they bloody better. <laughs> well, goodbye, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Best of luck, dear friend. <laughs> so long, Professor. <gasps> so long, sir. in peace <laughs> in jail all right then. next mission is the next mission do we have a taxi here we do doggy <laughs> that moon is really big just say you look like a man who could use a ride Excuse me? Your wish is my command. I'm going to Blackwater. There's a ways to go. I'd take a nap if I was you. Well, this is the yep. only chance I'm gonna get for rest. True. Think about that. It's like, actually, we save a lot, so... John Marston is sleepy hell of a lot. More than I am. To wait an hour. Well, I could sleep. <laughs> you know that engine who's always oh, yeah. 
Tuner's open. <laughs> wow. What a rumor. Ding ding. Okay, so now I saved, so if this recording fucks up, then I'll be fucked up. <laughs> I'll be fucked. Um, yeah, it's all over doing? here. Doing fine, thanks for asking. Jump! And you will know the truth. Marston. My family. Blow I've job. done what you asked. No, you haven't. This is the land of opportunity, and I gave you the opportunity to save your family, and you failed. How could I possibly reward you? Marston, you're a public menace. We should have had you killed. I wish you had. But since you didn't, where's my family? Oh, spare me the noble savage fall on the sword tribe. Will you, oh boy, it's nauseating. <laughs> You don't wish to be dead. You're an insignificant creature desperately clinging on to life like the rest of the scum in this town. Yeah, I know it's tough. You like Dutch. He's a charming fellow. He makes sense. He's like one of those nature writers from back east. Only he takes things a tiny little step too far. Rather than just loving the flowers and the animals and the harmony between man and beast, <laughs> he shoots people in the head for money. <laughs> Can't disagree with him. He's a goddamn killer. Now, I'm not a great intellect, but the metaphysical leap from admiring the flower to shooting a man in the head because he doesn't like the flower is a leap too far. So, I know it's easy. <laughs> you see, we, me and Archer, we're the bad guys. We enforce the rules. Now, while the rules may not be perfect, they're really not so bad. Exactly. What's the alternative? Yeah. See, I'll tell you what the alternative is. It's not complicated. It's about one man and his gun versus another man. <laughs> sure. Civilization may be dull, but the alternative, Mr. Marston, is hell. And the way you enforce this civilization, this freedom for men to like or not like flowers, or whatever in God's name you were just talking about is to kidnap a man's wife and son? Well, I know there's contradictions. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> As I said, I'm not a great intellect. Now, after the debacle with the army and the bank, we have to put Mr. Vanderlyn to rest ourselves. Will you help us? Do I have any choice? <laughs> now that you mention it, no. Then what was that pretty speech in aid of? I don't rightly know, but it sure felt good saying it. <laughs> Shall we, Mr. Marston? Let's go. Yeah, sure. Let's go kill Dutch. Why the fuck not? That's a tank. Pretty cool. Would have been a shame if I pulled the trigger. <laughs>
killing machine of yours seems to be turning a few heads. Our armed forces have no equal. We have made incredible progress the past few years. Is that what you call this it? This isn't much more than a simple prototype. You should see what they're working on in Virginia. Soon there will be no war we can't win. The army has made camp a little way outside town. They put word out a Time large to add a bump of camp. ammunition and food is stored there. Vandalin's gang needs constant supplies, so that should be enough to draw him in. No mistakes this time. You hear me, Marston? I thought you were nice talking to Fordham. Dun dun. Like all they are, like checkpoints and shit everywhere, but they weren't before. <laughs> What's the word, Captain? We spotted one of Dutch's men about an hour ago. I think he took the bait. Let's get in position then. Have your men ready to run them down if you have to. Dismiss! Load weapons and get to the sandbag! Move! Are you ready to finish this, Mr. Marston? Way, I guess so. Right, so I guess they're gonna come from here. There they and she's still like. Oh shit. I don't have any med medicine. <laughs> ding, ding. I don't know why he died there. I think it was just... I don't know. They had too much time to shoot, I guess. Hold your fire until I give the word. But yeah, now I know I don't have any medicine, so you know that's good to know. <laughs> Targets on the horizon. Fire at will. We should have done this a long time ago. Keep it coming, fellas. Let's 
gonna be a mess if we have to follow them into the woods. True, true. That's this why you're I can hardly hold driving on Shut up and try, Fordham! <laughs> Get those men behind the rock! Now! We got a wagon in heaven. Poor horses. Set you free.